Hi, everybody, and welcome to room nine. My name is Mrs. Brewer, and I am a third grade teacher at Gordon Bush Elementary School in the East St. Louis School District. So boys and girls, let's do a quick check in like we do all the time. How are we feeling today? Are we feeling good? If you're feeling good, give me a thumbs up. If we're having an okay day, give me a thumbs in the middle. And how many of you out here are having a bad day? Hopefully nobody is. Give me a thumbs down. Well, boys and girls, why are you feeling that way? I'll go first. I feel double thumbs up today because I was able to spend today with my students at school. And now I'm here, boys and girls, getting to teach you. And nothing makes me happier than being able to teach what? Here's a hint. How did you know math? I heard someone yell, math. Of course, I love math. Why wouldn't I love math? Math is awesome, right? So now, boys and girls, why don't you tell me about your day? Why are you feeling the way you are today? Well, I'm happy for those of you that are feeling great and having an excellent day. And for those of you that had a thumb in the middle and a thumb down, hopefully, Hopefully, by the time we are finished, boys and girls, with this video, we'll have a big smile on your face and your thumbs will both be up because you've been having a great day, okay? So, boys and girls, riddle me this one, okay? Um, today, we are going to be working with riddles, all right? All kinds of riddles and have you ever solved a riddle before boys and girls see some of you saying yes some of you saying no some of you are just looking at me it's okay too all right so what is a riddle well the best way i can think to describe a riddle would be to say that it is a puzzle with words. And this week we've been working with geometry, polygons, quadrilaterals, we've been naming different shapes. So guess what our riddles are gonna be about today, boys and girls? You're exactly right. Polygons, quadrilaterals, shapes, right? Okay. But before we get to the math riddles, I have a couple riddles here. Can you help me solve these boys and girls? Good. All right, so someone asked me this this morning and I have been thinking about it all day long. And I'm hoping, hoping maybe you guys can help me. You think you can help me solve this? Awesome, all right. So what has hands, a face, but can't hold anything or smile. What has hands and a face, but can't hold anything or smile? Think about that. What has hands, a face, but it can't hold anything or smile? Hmm. Am I giving you enough time, boys and girls, to think about this one? It is a clock, boys and girls. A clock has hands, right? A clock has a face. But can a clock smile? No. Can a clock hold anything? No. So a clock has hands, a face, but can't hold anything. How many of you guys got that? See a few of you out here did, okay? Let's try another one. It belongs to you, but your friends use it more. Hmm. What belongs to you, but your friends Use it more. Think about that. 
belongs to me, but my friends use it more. Anybody get it? Give up? Your name, your name belongs to you, but your friends use it more, right? My students definitely use my name more than I do. Miss Brewer, Miss Brewer, Miss Brewer, but it belongs to me, right? Okay. All right, boys and girls, you ready for the first riddle? Okay, so we did some practice riddles, okay, to get us ready for the math ones, okay? So let's look at our first geometry one. You ready? It says, my sides are equal. I am not a square. I am also called a diamond. Hmm. Let's look at that one carefully here, boys and girls. My sides are equal. I am not a square. I am also called a diamond. Do you know what the shape is? So let's look at this. So we, our sides have to be equal. What shape is this, boys and girls? I heard you out there. Someone said a rhombus. Anybody else get rhombus? You said rhombus. You are correct. It is a rhombus. Okay, it looks like a square that someone kind of sat on. All right, all its sides are equal. And we also refer to this one as a diamond. You are exactly right if you said a rhombus. All right, next one, you ready? Okay, let's get that rhombus out of our way, right? Okay, you ready for this one? Now, boys and girls, we're gonna go over a couple things when we talk about this one here real quick. This one here, says I have no right angles. I have more sides than a pentagon and I have fewer sides than an octagon. Hmm. Well, where do you think we should start on this one, boys and girls? First, talk about a pentagon. What do we know about a pentagon? A pentagon has how many sides? Ah, someone said five. Penta means five. So here's my pentagon. It has five sides. What about an octagon? How many sides does an octagon have? Right, since we have that oct in front, that O-C-T, you think of an octopus, right? And an octopus has how many, how many legs? Right, eight. So an octagon would have how many sides, you think? Right, eight. So I'm looking for a shape that has more than five sides less than eight and no right angles. Boys and girls, do you remember what a right angle looks like? A right angle is where two lines come together. Right here, this would be a right angle. It looks like the corner of a paper, okay? Because it is 90 degrees, a right angle is 90 degrees. It looks like a perfect corner or it is L shaped if we look at the angle. I should be able to take a piece of paper, take the corner of it and it should fit right into this to see if it is a right angle. Does that fit? Absolutely. So it is a right angle. So what shape do we know that has no right angles have greater than five sides, less than eight. 
I got it. A hexagon, right? A hexagon has how many sides? A hexagon has six sides. Is there anything else it could have been? Hmm. I'm thinking back to my greedy triangle yesterday. We said a hexagon has six sides, but this one actually has two answers because when I think of between five and eight, what other num what numbers come between five and eight? So five, six, seven. Is there a shape that might have seven sides? We know our greedy triangle yesterday turned into a, a heptagon, right? And a heptagon had how many sides? Seven. So it could either be a hexagon or a heptagon and neither one, I don't have my shapes with me today. Okay, the princess does not have her polygons, polygons, right? With me, but a heptagon has seven sides. And neither one of these shapes have a right angle. So it could either be a hexagon or a heptagon. Okay, so this one actually had two possibilities, right? All right, you ready for another one? See if we can solve this. Okay, let's try our next one. Ooh. This is a good one, boys and girls. This one says, I have no parallel sides. I have five sides and five angles hmm. Hmm. think about that one for a second boys and girls what do we mean by parallel we touched on it just briefly the other day does anybody remember what parallel means well anytime we talk about parallel lines we need to think of BFFs. Do you have a BFF, boys and girls? You do? I do too. Queen quadrilateral is one of B my BFFs. My friend Lisa, who watches a lot, she's one of my BFFs. My friend Jamie also is one of my BFFs, okay? So that means that we are lines that are together, but we never will cross each other. So these lines are continuous. They're never gonna stop, okay? So they are on opposite sides of each other. So if we look at a rectangle, a rectangle actually has two sets of parallel sides. Can you find them? I heard someone say the two sides. Okay, that's one set. Remember, a set is two. So here's one, two, or a pair. And where is their other set or pair of parallel lines? Do you know? I heard someone say on the top and bottom. The top of a rectangle and the bottom of the rectangle are also parallel sides. So a rectangle has two sets or two pairs of parallel sides. So now the shape that we're talking about, has, how many do they have? Zero, okay? So I need a shape that has no parallel sides, five sides, five angles. Hmm, seems like we just talked about a shape that had five sides. Oh, did I just hear somebody yell Pentagon? Let's see. So let me draw a Pentagon and see. All right. 
pentagons, you know, me and this whiteboard and trying to draw a pentagon here. All right, so here is my best drawn pentagon. I can draw with my whiteboard here, boys and girls. So do I have five sides? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how about five angles? And remember an angle is where two lines or line segment meet, right? So that, there's one angle, two, three, four, oh, five. Hmm. Do we have any parallel sides? No, we do not. So this shape has to be what? A, well, this riddle has to be a, a pentagon, all right. It is a pentagon, five sides, five angles, no parallel sides. All right, that was a good one, that made me think. We had to talk about parallel. That's one of my favorite things to talk about also. Besides multiplication and fractions, I love talking about parallel lines. All right. Next one here. Okay, come on, me, boys and girls. Here we go. Got it. This one, try to get away. It must not want to be solved, boys and girls. All right. This one says. I am closed. I am made of straight lines. All my lines connect. Hmm. It's closed. It's made of straight lines. And all of the lines connect. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody figure this one out. Is there just one shape we can think of that's closed, made of straight lines, and all the lines connect? No, I can't think of just one. So it must be a group of shapes, huh? Do you think it could be a group? Hmm. What group do we know? Are closed, made of straight lines, and all the lines connect. I'm missing my crown today, aren't I? Because what are we talking about here? This sounds like what? Go ahead and say it. Say it like you know you want to. We're talking about polygons. Polygons. We gotta be polygons. Polygons, right? It could be any of the polygons we've been talking about. What about a square? Is that closed? Made of straight lines and all the lines connect? Yeah, what about a rectangle? What about our rhombus we just drew? What about our parallelograms? What about our pentagon? We just drew. These are all what? Go ahead and say it like you mean it. They're all polygons, polygons, right? We've been talking about polygons, polygons. So if you said polygon, high five, you learned the rules of a polygon. We also know that the number of sides have to equal what? Someone just said it. The number of sides have to equal what? The number of angles for it to be a polygon, polygon, right? All right, next one, I'm gonna erase my polygons. Let's keep going with some riddles. You having fun? I'm having fun. Anytime this prince is here, gets to talk about polygons, it's always a great day. Okay. All right, this one said, it says I have three sides. I have three right angles. And I have two parallel sides. 
Hmm. Where do we want to start with this one? That's a great idea. Let's start with these three right angles. Okay. Remember what a right angle looks like? I put my arm up like this, right? Everybody do the right angle for me. Yeah, I can put my arm like this, fist, you make a muscle, you can make a right angle, right? If you look at my arm like this, okay? So it also looks like, remember the corner of paper. So three right angles, let's see. So here is one, two, three. Hmm. Three right angles, one, two, three. Three sides. How many sides do we have here? One, two, three, oh, four. It's also what? I didn't close it, right? It's also open. And two parallel sides. One, two. What do you notice? Even if I close this, oh, how many sides does it have? One, two, three. Oh, four. Okay, let's look for parallel sides. There is one, two parallel sides, right? But we also have, oh, three, four parallel sides or two sets, right? So two parallel sides would mean just one set or one pair. So this one has two pairs, doesn't it? So could this even be a possibility, boys and girls? No, it couldn't. This could not be, a, you cannot have a three-sided figure with three right angles and two parallel sides. Guess what? <laughs> this is probably God has a few tricks up his sleeve. And I just, we just, I just tricked you. <gasps> Did you get that before I said? Some of you, yeah, I'm hearing you out there. You didn't get me. Mm. Some of you I got. All right. So we know we can't have a three-sided figure with three right angles. Okay. So here, last one. Gotta get this one, boys and girls. Gotta, gotta. You have got to. All right. I have... Okay, so I am a quadrilateral. What does this mean? All right, quad means four and they don't want no more, right? Quad means four and they don't want no more. So we know it has to have four shapes, okay? I am a polygon. Well, are all quadrilaterals polygons? Yes. All of our quadrilaterals are polygons. They're just special polygons that have what? You're right, four sides and one pair of parallel sides. Okay, well, let's start drawing some quadrilaterals, you know. Okay, here's the square. That's the easiest one first, all right. Does it have one pair of parallel sides? Here's one pair. Oh two pairs so can it be a square nope let's go to my rectangle is it a quad yep polygon check one pair of parallel sides there's one pair oh look it also has two pairs so can it be a rectangle no all right um, let's go to parallelogram. Oh, look here. How many parallel sides does a parallelogram have? Here's one. Here's, oh, look, two. Can it be a parallelogram? Nope. I know exactly what we're missing. Look at this shape, boys and girls. How many sets of parallel sides do we see here? 
one pair, one set, right? Top and the bottom. Look at these two side angles. If they would draw them out, what would happen? They would cross, so they're not parallel, are they? What is this shape here called? I'll try to draw it a little bit better here real quick. This is called the what a trapezoid. You got a trapezoid. Uh, this bump, if you got it. Oh. All right, boys and girls, we have been having some fun with some quadrilateral polygon riddles, right? I am very impressed for those of us that worked hard and figured out these riddles, okay? And for those of you that I might have outsmarted, I'm sorry for that three angles, three right angles, three sides. For those of you who got it, there's no fooling you. You got these polygons down. Well, join us back here tomorrow where we're going to talk about putting the polygons together, all right? Have a good evening, boys and girls. I'll see you later. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.